Hey, my name is Dutra. I'm from University of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, I'm the leader of the project named o OER Differentiation. The motivation for the project was to answer the following question. Why the people from the global south don't use OER as we expect? So the research question to address this question was to find out who are the current and potential user of OER. Our sample was based on uh, instructors and students from 28 education institutions from nine countries. Uh, from, for example, from Latin America was Brazil, Chile and Colombia. And from Africa was Ghana, Kenya and South Africa. And from Asia was India, Malaysia and Indonesia. Yes, the questionnaire was written in four languages. It was written in Spanish, Portuguese, English and Indonesian. And the instrument was available online using SurveyMonkey. And some of them we used hard copy because there was not internet available for the students and instructor. We noticed at the beginning of the project that the people, the respondents, they didn't know anything about OER. The term OER was not very clear for them. So we had to change the questionnaire to education resources only. And also we noticed on the responses from the questionnaire that they are not aware of the license. So they didn't know anything about license. I can give you some numbers. For example, 90% of the people haven't used any kind of license. Even for the creative common that is very common for, to us, only 10% have ever used Creative Commons as a license. In terms of infrastructure, we have some interesting numbers. Uh, we already know that the infrastructure in these countries is very poor. For example, uh, the people, uh, they don't have access to internet. The very good internet, I mean. What I mean good internet? I mean speed, stability and also the price. And w what we have seen that the people don't have access to this. If we want to increase the number of people using OER, we have to provide access at affordable price for them. So what we found out is that the people that wants to provide OER for the global south, they need to find their needs. So we must provide something that are useful for them. And how do we do, we do that? We ha have to ask them and provide the best resource that can help them to do their own things. Because some of, of the things that are available in the global, now, south, global north may not be available, may not be suitable or usable for the global south. I think this new wave about the OER movement is regarding the way that you use. For example, I think the solution comes from the revise and the remix type of use of OER. But again, we need to revise and remix with local flavor. What I mean by local flavor? I mean that we have to use local language uh, we have to look local example, so to engage the people to use and create OER.